this bedroom now, I'm ready to start emulsioning the ceiling. Um, a few precautions, what I've done. I've, all the carpets got dust sheets on. Door, dust sheets on. And I've put plastic sheets all around the units. Plastic sheets over the window. Plastic sheets over the windowsill, covering a bit of the radiator as well. The last thing you want to be doing is creating work for yourself. Washing paint off the cupboards, sanding splashes off the door when you come to paint it. Again, the sill, it's been prepared. There's no point in put, getting splashes over that now and then having to sand them. Some of the stuff I'm using, I've got a medium pile roller sleeve roller pole and a scuttle um, a screw a thread and that for the end of the roller pole makes it a lot easier especially doing ceilings um, paint kettle a stick for stirring your paint up um, right I've got a selection of brushes two inch one and a half inch. That's a synthetic, a purdy. They're okay. Uh, and that's a Harris uh, Pure Bristle. That's a new one, that. You can see how they were down. Uh, actually, them two are, are about ready for gloss now, really. So that's uh, how they start off and you know, they were down. But that's a good brush, that. Uh, once it gets paint on it, it'll all sit in neat. Nice that. This is the paint I'm using. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at that trade. Um, good stuff. Pure brilliant whites. And it says they're scrubbable. Paint and primer. So you can have a look at the ceiling when it's at its first coat because there is other videos to show you how to paint ceilings. Cutting round the ceiling now, round the units. The last thing I cut in was round the light. And uh, I'm gonna roll the ceiling now. That's the ceiling finish now. So I'm about to start the walls and I'm getting ready. I've got my gear out. Took the plastic sheets off the cupboards to free up the wall underneath. Um, I'll just show you what I'm going to use. Again, paint kettle, roller with the screw thread for my pole. That's a um, short pile sleeve. I'll just show you the packet. A perfect finish on the smooth surfaces. Right, I've also got a radiator roller to get down the back of the radiator. I've got a brush, a one inch pure bristle. Um, surprising how much paint you can fit on one of them and how far it goes. It's only a small room this. Stick for stirring my paint up. Screwdriver opening my paint. Bucket of water, damp cloth. Obviously, I've got my steps, won't need them under there. So, first of all, what I'm going to do open my paint, give it a stir up, put some in my scuttle, put a little bit in my kettle. Never overfill your kettle, you only need a little bit. And then I'll show you doing that wall. So, first of all, you want to cut it in. Um, you've got to be careful because you don't want to be getting it onto the wardrobes. There's actually a piece of wood very close to the wall going around. And the last thing you want is to get paint on that. This is one of them areas where you've got to get really neat because when they're lying in bed I'm going to look at this bit up here. So 
So if you mess this up, it just lets the room down. You'd be lying in bed wondering what else you've not done right. <clears throat> the first coat is always the hardest because it's got to soak in. Uh, and like I say, it's surprising how much paint you can fit on a one inch brush. Um, and sometimes the reason I use it is because I can manipulate the bristles a lot easier. Um, two inch brush, you, you, can, you, know, you could use a two inch brush. But the small, a small surface and a small area, you're better using a one inch brush. And make sure you spread it out nice and evenly. If you get any paint on, wipe it off straight away. I've got a little bit on up there. I'm going to wipe that off. You know, if you can sort something out straight away, don't leave it to dry and then try and deal with it. Deal with it wet and then at least when it does dry, you've got the majority sorted. Once you've cut it in, load your roller. make sure you've got no tram lines and what I mean by tram lines is lines off the NG roller
go. I'll give you a quick look at that. Now, it needs a second coat, but you can't see any joints. Okay, the emulsion in, it's going really well at the minute, but I just thought I'd show you this edge where I've, uh, where I've cut the lining paper on this wall. So, it's a little bit furry, but it's not too bad. So, what I'm going to do is using some P240, really fine sandpaper that. I'm going to sand that edge. A couple of coats of paint on that now, and it'll be okay. I'll probably give it another light sand after its first coat. But you can see how that's feathered in compared to up there where I've not not done it. Right then. All that filler was sanded down um, and what I've done I've given it a coat of that one. The Valspar Trade Pure Brilliant White Matte. I've used that as like a primer because the walls were so rough in here um, they've been sanded They've had PVA on them, uh, polyfiller, so I put that on as a primer. Um, for my final two coats, I'm going to be using that, which is the Dulux Bathroom Pure Brilliant White. So I'm just about to put a coat on now. It's come up really well, to be honest, in a minute. Um, a lot better than I expected. So oh, the job's going well. So you can have a look at that when I've put another coat on. I'll probably show it you in the morning because the sun's bad on this side now. That radiator's a rough one. Well that's the walls finished. come up pretty well they have. I'll just show you that edge there. Not bad at all. Right, so what I'm going to do is this windowsill with it being burr wood and there's some, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to stain through water-based gloss because that's what I'm using. So I'm going to put a coat of bin primer on first. And then this is what I'm using. Let's just get the light back better on that. It's good stuff that is. Primer and paint. Um, that's a gloss. Stays white. And it's got a nice flow on it. Uh, it's good stuff. So. And the radiators had a coat of bin primer as well because there was some rust on that. So the next time you'll see this room it'll be finished. Bathroom's going well. The emulsion's finished now. Give you a quick look round that. Uh, that. That was round the light, so everything's looking a lot neater. The mould's gone off the walls. So, I've given this uh, windowsill a coat of bin primer to seal it, and then it's getting two coats of the Ron Seal primer and paint gloss. Um, let's have a look at this radiator. It's looking a lot better. Now that's had a good sand down and it's had a coat of bin primer. Um, I've took these sections off so I can actually clean all down the back for because um, it was really messy down there. So I'm going to let that dry and give it another coat of bin primer. Um, as you can see, it just needs one more coat just to make it a bit more solid. And then that's getting uh, two coats of uh, Ron Seal radiator paint. So again, 
the next time I've started the kitchen. So what I've done so far in here is I've washed off the top of the uh, what the cupboards, get rid of all the grease and the muck, and then I've sheeted up. I've already started the ceiling. Um, and fingers crossed, it's actually uh, going to come off and be a smooth ceiling. I'll just show you. For doing something like this, you need to wear eye protection, um, dust mask, and put some gloves on. Um, see how easy that's coming out. And that's with my scraper, which is not too bad. But if you get any if you get any stubborn bits, you can use your blade. I mean this works quite well. can work better down a scraper sometimes. You may get the odd bit which is uh, difficult because it's been it's over a hole that looks like it's over a hole that probably a bit of filler. Some bits you might have to do a bit of uh, hard work on, but I'm going to see how it goes. And if I don't have to artex this ceiling, I'm going to uh, just paint it flat. I'm going to see how this section goes down here, where all the damp is and that. And if I get all that off, then I'm going to take that light off, make it easy for myself, and take the other half off. The ceiling stripped. Took a couple of hours, stripped off a little bit of lining paper around. Um, I'm not going to line that. What I'm going to do is sand it down, clean it off on that, give it a coat of PVA, and just give it a coat of paint on that bit, and it should be okay. Um, the ceiling, a few, few cracks in it. You know, there's one up there that's got to be fixed. A movement crack that the fact the ceiling is moving all the way around. So I've already put a couple of holes in here for foam. And if I just literally, I mean, that's pipes above, but I'll show you the movement. Look at that, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, a little bit of cork wouldn't get rid of that, but a little bit of foam and powder filler. And you started. So next time you see that ceiling, it'll be finished. Along with the walls and the woodwork. Because I've not got time to show you too much now, I've got to crack on. Alright, the ceiling's stripped now. And all the filling, well all the foaming and filling's done. Give you a quick look round. Not come up too bad that ceiling. But what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm going to put some lining paper over that. And in the lounge, stripped the wall and I've lined that already. So about to put a coat of emulsion on this ceiling. That's the ceiling lined now. It's not coming too bad at all, it's still drying out. Um, so I think she'll be happy with that once it's had its uh, two coats of white. So I've done a bit more preparation around the door there. That's had foam and polyfiller. Now 
on the top. That's had a coat of bin primer because it was a bit stained. There's a little bit of stain coming through at the top, but I haven't gone all the way up. So I'll just touch that up later. And the lounge, not doing too bad. Like I said, that wall's lined. That ceiling's got a coat of emulsion on it. So for this fireplace bottom, that's what we're using. Ultra smooth. That's midstone. Not a bad colour match at all, that. Might even be it. So, I mean, it's an exterior emulsion, but there's no worries for using it inside on stone like that. Okay, that's the first coat of the colour on the walls, the uh, cafe, cafe latte. Um, it looks okay. I don't mind it. I think the uh, the tiles need changing now on the floor. But it's uh, took some doing this job, to be honest. Four rooms at once. To keep the kettle boiling, without a doubt. You're moving from room to room, doing little bits while something else is uh, drying in another room. Even my dinners has turned to being cold, but well, needs must at the minute. Mm. Right then, lounge is doing well. Just put a coat of gloss on that sill, water based. Good stuff that is, really is good stuff. I mean, I've only just done it. Well, I'm saying only just done it half an hour, it's drying off. It's got a really great sheen on it, that has. <clears throat> Let's just have a look. That's the stuff. Run seal, stay white, two in one primer. It's got a really good flow on it, um, and it gives you time to lay off and everything. It's, it's one of the best I've used, to be honest, in glosses. Ooh, right. That's it now. The next time you see this job, it'll be completely finished. The job's nearly finished now. The last thing I've got to do is this fireplace. Um, I said to my customer, I'll neaten it up for it because it's all chipped. I'm just going to wipe it over with methylated spirits, give it a light sand down. I mean a light sand down. That's um, P180. And then I'm going to give it a coat of this. Stove and paint. Um, matte black. You can have a look once that's finished. And then you can have a look at the whole job. Okay, the job's finished. Thankfully. It's come up really well. So, like I say, this is all water-based gloss. Let's look at the bathroom. Bit of a difference. Look at that radiator. Look really well. Going around the window. Go and have a look at the kitchen now. The kitchen was one of the hardest rooms to do with that ceiling. But that's come up absolutely brilliant. Um, I've actually painted 
the lights as well. Because it was all horrible in yellow and bits of rust all over it. Uh, we'll quick look around some of the edges. finally the lounge still looking back out there it's come up really well considering how rough it was. That's had a coat of water-based satin varnish.